Welcome everyone to the sixth episode of this naturally cool Mahagna Volcano Natural Park video vlog. Yes, you hear that right. This is the sixth episode. And if you have not yet watched the previous episodes, you are indeed missing a lot. Yup, marami talaga kayong na-miss because we already featured Lake Malagsum, the Vulcan area, Lake Matigbao, the Kalor Hot Spring, and the Gina Niban Falls. So be sure to view those episodes because they promise to be surely exciting and educational. Just like this episode because we will go forest bathing. Naligo tayo for the fifth episode? For this episode, hindi na naman tayo? No, this is different because today we will be experiencing Shenren Yoko. I know you guys want to know, kaya mula rito sa Ginaniban Falls, samahan nyo kami papuntang Mahagna Volcano Natural Park, Tanggili Trail, for the next naturally cool adventure. This trail is a special trail. This has been identified for the experience of reconnecting with nature, or the Japanese practice called Shenren Yoko. Shinrin is Japanese for forest and yoko means bathing. Ito yung sinasabi kanina ni Ivan na forest bathing. Pero hindi tayo maliligo ha, but in immersing yourself in nature and being connected with the forest. Shinrin yoko was developed in Japan to counteract an affliction called karoshi or death by stress. It is seen to boost the immune system, increase energy, lower blood sugar level, increase anti-cancer proteins, help lose weight, decrease anxiety, depression, and anger, reduce stress, and bring about a general state of relaxation. To practice Shinrin Yuku, you need to engage your five senses, which is your sense of sight, smell, hear, touch, and taste. So stay right there, relax, and join us in exploring the Tangili Trail. A while ago, we mentioned that in Shinrin Yoku, or forest bathing, we use our five senses. Let us first use our sense of sight to experience the splendor and beauty of the natural world. For this activity, notice the komorebi, or the sunlight filtering through the leaves of the trees. Notice the dappled sunlight, or the interplay of the light, and the leaves in the shadows they throw on the ground. Notice also the fractals of nature or the natural pattern that repeats itself over and over again, which is present all around us. Try to examine the veins in a leaf or the petals in a flower and notice the patterns. Fractals in nature are scientifically proven to make you relax no matter how complicated the patterns are. And as you experience this trail, feast your eyes on the many patterns there are to see. Finally, we are at the area where this trail is called the Tangili Trail. This is the Tangili Stand. Five trees compose this stand, including one other tree. Wow! Ang laki talaga ng Tangili. And the buttress or this part is so huge, I could easily hide behind it. Peekaboo! I wonder how the tree I wonder the... how, I wonder why. Yesterday you told me about the blue, blue sky In all that I can see It's just another tangili tree <laughs> What I mean is that I wonder how the tangili tree's root system looks like Speaking of roots, maaram ka ba na it mga puno nag i gapon hira nga nag gamit it era roots? The trees communicate with each other using a network of fungi that grow around and inside their roots. The fungi provide the trees with nutrients and in return, they receive sugars. Scientists have also found that trees likewise share resources with each other using this connection, which has been nicknamed as the wood wide web. The mother tree, or the largest tree that acts as a central hub of the wood wide web, also use this fungal network to supply seedlings with sugars, giving them a better chance of survival. Katulad ng ating mga nanay na inaalagaan tayo nung mga baby pa tayo. Speaking of care, 
Sick and dying trees may also dump their resources into the network for use by healthier neighboring trees. This is the Tangilistan Mother Tree. Let us do our next activity here, Ivan. Here, we will experience Shinrin Yoku focusing on the sense of touch. But before that, let us talk about ions. Ions are in the air and also present in the soil. In particular, negative ions are said to have energizing effects to the body and helps in giving us mental clarity. There are more negative ions outdoors than indoors and they are abundant in forests, near waterfalls, rivers, and streams. When our feet touch the ground, we are receiving a dose of the Earth's powerful healing electrons flowing to our body. We lost this connection to the Earth when we started wearing shoes and other footwear as they insulate us from the ground. So Ivan, for you to experience the forest by touch, take off your shoes and go barefoot. Be sure to pay attention to what you feel. So stand with your feet parallel to each other and square your shoulders. Keep your chin high and your spine straight. Be calm. Let your tension and weight sink into your feet. You can close your eyes for you to better feel the connection. If you don't want to take your shoes off, make sure you make contact with nature by plunging your hands into a pile of leaves, enjoying the breeze against your skin, or leaning against a tree or hugging it. Uy, familiar man ini. I think I saw it somewhere along the start of the trail towards Lake Matigbao. You know, the one we featured in the third episode. Yes, you are right. That is called Melastoma malabathricum, or locally known as Hatutnao. The Melastoma is an evergreen treelet that has food and medicinal value. The young shoots can be eaten fresh or cooked as vegetables, while its fruit has a sweet flavor. A decoction of its leaves, on the other hand, is used to treat stomach aches, diarrhea, indigestion, dysentery, and even hemorrhoids. Since you mentioned that Chinrin Yuku involves the senses, I will use my sense of taste here. Well, another way to connect with the earth is to eat and drink it. The forest is full of edible materials and when you eat wild forest fruits, you are taking in the energy of the earth as well. Just be sure that what you eat has been approved by your guide. This is a nice spot to do it. Here, Ivan, we will engage our sense of smell. Smell affects our mood and behavior, and it affects our emotions and memories. Pero, pan pag mga pango? Wala yan sa script. Ay, wala ba? Okay, ganito na lang. Sige, ano yung gagawin natin? So let us close our eyes and heighten our olfactory sense. Be aware of the petrichor or the smell of the earth, the smell of the dried leaves, of the forest fruits, of the different shrubs and trees, and the various smells that is being carried by the gentle breeze that caresses your face. The forest releases fragrances or phytoncides which help in improving body immunity and in reducing stress, thus promoting relaxation. Phytoncides are natural oils within a plant and are part of its natural defense system. Trees release them against bacteria, insects, and fungi. The main component of phytoncides are called terpenes. If you notice a lemony smell, a woody smell, or a herby smell like that of basil while inside the forest, those are the terpenes which are common in the Shireya tree species like the Tangili trees. Hi, buti na lang tumigil na ang ulan. Kaso, basa na tayo at saka malamig na ang paligid. Konti na lang ang phytoncides kasi the warmer the temperature is, the more phytoncides there are in the air. In fact, phytoncides are in high concentration at temperature around 30 degrees Celsius. 
Ivan, let us stop here for a while. I would love that because I want to process everything that I just learned. First, a question. Do you hear anything? Uh, may dapat ba akong marinig? Exactly. This is the sound of silence. Do you know that natural silence is the most endangered resource in the planet because everyone is making too much noise? Nako, totoong totoo yan. Kapareho lang yan ng kapitbahay namin. Madaling araw na, nagkakaraoke pa rin. Halos di na nga kami makatulog. Buti pa dito. Napakatahimik. Here at the Tangili Trail, we can listen to the wind or the breeze, the singing of birds, the sighing of the forest, or simply listen to and be calmed by the silence. When we are free from human noise, we have an opportunity to listen to the sounds that only nature provides and be at ease. Wow! This here is a place of zen. We can do our reflection here, Ivan. Yes. And I want to do it by connecting with the earth. There is actually a sixth sense, or that sense where you transcend or go beyond what the five senses can comprehend to a world beyond ourselves. Here, towards the culmination of the Tangili Trail, we can re-examine the experience of reconnecting with nature and feel a different kind of happiness, of contentment that is different from that which we feel with our loved ones or when with friends, or when listening to our favorite music or when savoring our favorite food. Ivan! Ivan! Wow, ha? Grabe ang connection mo. Nakaidlip ka talaga. Hagi, ay mahupay kasi nga dig katurog. Mamingo. Oo, maaram ako. Pero buhat na dida, may surprise sa kayo. Dumuli gano'n ako. Halika na! Ivan! Oh! Ivan! Kita! Kita! Oo, kita! Uy! Lake Malagsum naman ini. Yes, we have come full circle because we featured Lake Malagsum in our first episode. So, karugsingon ba ini nga tapos na that naturally cool adventure nga ni Hamhag na Volcano Natural Park? No, not yet. We still have to show our viewers, followers, likers, friends, everyone! Lake Mahagnaw, the biggest of the three lakes of the Mahagnaw Volcano Natural Park. Ay, oo nga pala. We actually saved the biggest lake for last. Pero di ba natapos na natin yung picture na Lake Malagsung? Mm -hmm. Yes, that is true. But before we formally end this naturally cool episode, let us know what you guys think and comment down below. Don't forget to like Burawin Tourism, best of Burawin page, and give this video a like, heart, wow, and share this video as well as our previous episodes. And see you next time for the seventh and final episode of this naturally cool Mahagna Volcano Natural Park Adventures.